I'll, find, I'll end with a hadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam since we're talking about uh, Timbuktu and Mauritania and North and West Africa. The, pro, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in a Sahih hadith, لا يزال أهل المغرب ظاهرين على الحق حتى تقوم الساعة The people of the Maghrib, of the West, will be on truth, on haq, until the sa'a comes, until the final hour comes. Many of the people in the Maghrib, in, and that's just, this is not just West Africa, in the West, Morocco, Tunis, Libya, this was a fakhr for them. This was like uh, something that they, they boasted about, that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told, uh, t- uh, talked about us, talked about the people of the Maghrib. And there's other hadith that also talk about uh, the people of Bayt al-Maqdis and the people of Sham and is a bushara for them. But we have to keep an eye on West Africa, West and North Africa. Because the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that the people of the Maghrib will be on haq until the sa'a comes. And there's many, many different riwayats. And another one that's more specific, he says, لا تزال طائفة من أمتي ظاهرين على الحق There will always remain a group of people from my ummah on the truth في المغرب, in the west حتى تقوم الساعة, until the, the sa'a, the final hour comes. So we have to keep an eye on, on that area of the west. The other thing is, and this is husn al somebody yesterday, I think it was Mulana Tamim was saying uh, about uh, uh, having hope that we should never go into a state of despair, especially now with all of the Islamophobes and all the attacks on Islam, from both within the Ummah and from outside of the Ummah, that sometimes we might go into a state of despair. We cannot have this living legacy if we have a state of despair. They can say whatever they want to say about our deen. We know it's the truth. And it doesn't matter what they do, what they try to do to blow out the, the, the light of Allah, Allah is mutimmu nurihi. He will complete his religion. Do we want to be part of that completion or not? The, the thinking about this is the same way, I would give you advice, the same way that uh, Sultan uh, Muhammad, who conquered Constantinople, there was a hadith that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Ni'm uh, al-Amir, uh, that he described that the Jaish, the army that would take over Constantinople, what a great Amir they have, and what a great army they have. He read that hadith, he said, I want that to be me. And he, with his husn al with his good uh, belief in Allah, he, he was given that as a, as a reward. The, um, um, the grandfather of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, why did he give the name Muhammad to his grandson Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Why? He said, because I wanted him to be praised in the heavens and the earth. He had husn of of the ability of Allah to make him Muhammad in the sama and in the earth. And he said, I'll, give him Muhammad, uh, I'll name him Muhammad. And Allah made it come true because he had husn of in the power of Allah. He had a good opinion in the, what Allah can do. So when we read this hadith about the people of the West, just as a quick uh, survey, how many people thought, hmm, could that mean another West? Just really quickly. Anybody raise your hand? Yeah. That's husn of We should all raise our hands. We should all raise our hands and say, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam spoke, he said, the people of the West. We're living in the West. Uh, uh, Abu Bakr al-Tartushi, one of the great imams of the, of, the, of the Maliki scholars, wrote a letter to the people of Aqsa al-Gharb, the farthest West, and he said, and I'll end with this. He said, um, he said, هَلْ أَرَادُكُمْ رَسُولُ Allah? Did the Messenger of Allah mean you? He wrote this to the people of the West. He said, did he mean you? Or did he mean all of the people of the Maghrib? Was it the far West or just the people of the West? Because the West begins in Libya onwards. Um, he says, لِمَا هُمْ عَلَيْهِ مِنَ التَّمَسُّكِ بِالسُنَّةِ وَالْجَمَاعَةِ Because of their holding fast to the Sunnah and the congregation, the Jama'ah, وَطَهَارَتِهِمْ مِنَ الْبِدَعِ And being pure and free of innovations, وَالْأَحْدَاثِ فِي الدِّينِ And bringing innovations into the deen, وَالْإِقْتِفَاءِ لِأَثَارِ مَنْ مَضَى مِنَ السَّلِفِ الصَّالِحِ And following the, 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 the athar, the remnants of the people of the Salaf al-Salih. And Abu Bakr al-Tartushi says, Wallahu ta'ala a'lam. Take that as a bushara. If you have husn of dhan that this could be us, this could be you, why can't Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring, uh, bring a lot of haq out of the West and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam be talking about us, talking about the original West, which was the Maghrib al-Arabi, and now talking about the new West, Canada, US, this, these, these areas, talking about the West. And uh, Imam al-Qurtubi in his book of, of al-Tadhkira, he, when in discussing about the Zuhur of the Mahdi and the coming of the Mahdi, he says that it would seem that the first appearance of the Mahdi is, is at the Kaaba. He said this is actually the second appearance of the Mahdi. The first appearance is in the West. And he mentions a hadith. And he says, في أقصى المغرب In the farthest of the West, the Mahdi will come with yellow flags. Yellow flags. And then he will make his way to 
uh, the Kaaba, and that's where his second appearance will be, and then he'll take his bay'ah there. Well, I'm just mentioning those hadith and those things for us to keep husn al to have a good opinion of what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can do, but we have to revive the deen in our own lives, within our families, even if we don't revive a huge cultural um, uh, civilization of ilm and knowledge and so forth, can you revive the deen in your family? And maybe plant the seeds for something to happen 50 years down the road, 100 down the years down the road, for a mujaddid to come out of your family and out of your communities that you established. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq to be from amongst the people of tajdeed of this deen, to be from amongst the renewers of this deen. No, we have a bear in our flag. Oh, okay. But, and it says California Republic, too. So it's uh, their own flag. I mean, he emphasized yellow twice, so I figured maybe it was California. Well, I, I <laughs> emphasize yellow flags because of everybody going around with the black flag oh, saying, yeah. like, oh, it's us. <laughs> oh, it's us. JazakAllah khair, that was just, mashallah, an amazing uh, uh, presentation, JazakAllah khair, just like all the presentations so far on Islamic history.